Tonight, a former NASA mathematician and one of the human computers featured in the book Hidden Figures is speaking at Hardin University. Christine Darden was the first African-American woman at NASA's Langley Research Center to be promoted into the senior executive service for her work researching supersonic flight and sonic booms. I'm a retired member of staff at NASA Langley Research Center. I went there 25 years after the older lady in Hidden Figures. I went into an integrated office, but I did work as a computer for five years, uh, supporting, supporting the engineers who were actually working with the Apollo program and how the Apollo vehicle would uh, come back into the atmosphere. Uh, the angle and the speed such that, you know, it wouldn't burn up or bounce back out into space. It, it went pretty well uh, until I decide, decided I really wanted to be doing what the engineers were doing instead of supporting them. <laughs> I found out that men with the same degree that I had were working over in the engineering branch. And so I asked the supervisor, you know, well, can I transfer over there? That's what I'd rather be doing. And uh, he said no, uh, and so then I went to a director a little later and asked why a male and a female with the same background are given to such different jobs. And the males, of course, write papers and give talks and get promoted, and the females weren't. And that's when I got promoted and got transferred. I had to, to uh, kind of make, up, make my way up to get there. And, but I did, and I, you know, and I think other students can do that too, but I think it's got to be something inside you to seeing this is what I want to do. Figure out how to do it. Her story mm. is so similar to the late Ray Montague, who passed away, by the way, in case you didn't know, five months ago, mm -hmm. whose story we told you, so similar to that, so driven to exceed and mm -hmm. succeed. In, a, in an area that where it was only men, but yeah. by golly, she showed them, just yeah. like Miss Darden. They both did. Well, Darden speaks tonight at 7.30 at the Benson Auditorium at Harding University.